Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian at the Farnborough International Air Show outside London, and we have with us Mike Trotter, who is with Canberra to the Sky. Uh, Mike, you're the business uh, development manager. Um, you're part of the successful team that brought the iconic Vulcan uh, to the skies of the United Kingdom, uh, and there were hopes to maybe take her to America at one point uh, as well. Talk to us about the new project. It's the Canberra, another iconic British uh, jet. Um, talk to us a little bit about the airplane and what you guys are trying to accomplish. Yeah, well, as you know, we, uh, the Vulcan was grounded last year for the last flight. Um, we've flown her for eight years. It was a marvellous success. Uh, and we were looking around for the next project to do. Um, we have to look after the Vulcan now for the next 70 years, keep her in good condition. Uh, but we know a flying aircraft attracts more people. So we purchased Canberra WK163. Uh, it's a famous aircraft. Historically, it's more important than Vulcan, really. It still holds the world altitude record set in the 1950s. Uh, and we believe we can restore it to flight by Farnborough 2018. So, yeah, it's a very exciting project for us. Um, that's, that's a very aggressive schedule. Talk to us a little bit about where you guys got the airplane and how much it's going to cost, because the Vulcan cost, we were talking just a little bit earlier, about £7 million to bring up to speed. Talk to us about the aircraft and how, the Canberra, how much it's going to cost. Yeah, we, we purchased it from a, a collection, a, a great collection in Coventry called Classic Air Force, which is disbanding. Uh, we don't know the total cost of restoration yet because we need to strip it and see what needs to be done. Uh, but we've got six engines which we, which we think are fine. The airframe looks fine now we've dismantled it. So we're estimating about one, 1 1.2 million pound sterling to do the restoration. How much money do you have raised? How much money do you have to raise? At the moment, we've raised very little. It's tens of thousands of pounds because we've only just launched the Camera to the Sky Trust. Uh, but um, we've, started the, we've started the project and we hope now to gain real momentum here at Farnborough. Do, um, now, you talked about Avons, um, obviously the jet, uh, its first flight was 1946, first if I'm correct? The Canberra, yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, was obviously one of the uh, first in a generation of jet bombers, and obviously stayed into service in uh, the PRC-9, right, right, until 2009? That's right, yeah. And NASA is still flying the, the American variant. Uh, the B-57 uh, derivative when it went into service. So, I mean, this is positively one of the greatest longevity military aircraft Absolutely. in history. Absolutely, it's an iconic aeroplane and because ours has the world altitude record it's it's a very famous aeroplane so we're very proud to be working with it. Where I was going with that question originally though was that it's powered by Avon engines which are a first generation uh, jet engine. Talk to us a little bit about the challenges of operating an, air, an, an, an engine like that in this era. Well the challenges at the moment are, it, first of all they're quite a simple and well proven engine um, or, or, or a trustee who's responsible for safety calls them agricultural, which means they're good. Um, the problem we have with the Avon, of course, is it's the engine that powers the Hunter, and at the moment they're all grounded because of the Shoreham tragedy. Uh, but we've got a, a, a set of work we can do to make sure the engines we've got are airworthy, and uh, we hope that we'll be, ha we'll be doing that fairly soon. So we, we have no worries about it, we think we'll be fine. How many people are associated with the group, and where can people go to contribute or follow your progress? Uh, associated with, with the group at the moment, in terms of our followers, do you mean? Yeah, my, roughly how many people on the team that are helping you do this? Oh, there's the, 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 the full team of employees all together is about 17, 18 people. And if people go to the Vulcan to the Sky website, www.vulcantothesky.org, there's a Canberra link there, and it'll tell you all about the project. The Vulcan has been retired, but where can people go to see it now that it's not flying anymore? Yeah, she's based at Robin Hood International Airport in, uh, in Doncaster, in Yorkshire. Um, it used to be RAF Finningley, so she's there, available for tours all through the year, and the camera will be restored right next to her in the same hangar, so it's a well worth the trip to see both aircraft, two iconic airplanes in the hangar. And for all of those people who are interested in, it from, in the United States seeing this and wanting to travel there, how do you get up there from, say, London? Uh, it's very easy. If you fly into London, there's a very quick train service in London to Doncaster. It's two hours on the train and a quick taxi ride and you're there. And it's a lovely ride to see the countryside. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mike, thanks very much. Best of luck on the project. Thank you.